The next element that we're talking about for a culture of mentorship is participant centricity. Um, as a mentor collective partner, you are well on your way to excelling in this particular area because this is probably the area we have the most research and foundational uh, program design to ensure that if you're running a mentor collective program or if you're running a mentorship program with mentor collective, that you are able to do these things, that the mentorship is identity conscious and inclusive, that we're really thinking about the participants experience here, um, that the program is accessible regardless of means and offers multiple methods of engaging like text or in person or one to many or group events so that participants with diverse needs are welcomed and accommodated within the mentorship program. That could also mean meeting students where there are where they are in terms of your recruitment and publicizing of the event. Do students who are commuter students and largely like drive into your institution and don't live in the residence halls? Are they aware of this opportunity? Are they encouraged to have this opportunity? Um, and ensuring that that those all participants are welcomed and included. Another element of participant centricity is it being goal oriented. So we want to have those broad broad outcomes that we know that the program is achieving or for a student body, but also reflecting that for each student, each participant, they are on their own journey. They are starting at one point and that is different than the, the student next to them. So at Mentor Collective in the platform, we really start by saying, what is your goal for this mentorship? And then teaching that mentor to respect and encourage progress on that goal for that student at that time. So really reflecting on as the person in this per experience, you get to drive it, you get to ensure that it achieves and accomplishes what you want. And then finally, participant centricity also means um, mentors and mentees all benefit from the program. We're very well versed in seeing institutions that talk a lot about mentees and recruiting mentees and how they benefit, but a true culture of mentorship respects and appreciates the benefit to mentors as well, whether those mentors are alumni or current students or whatever their a particular role may be. They benefit in terms of participation and engagement in their community, leadership skill development, and that um, that should be part of how we talk about mentorship as well. I want to give an example here that, um, or of a couple minutes example here from Holyoke Community College, where they talk about really an identity conscious and inclusive program and how they reflected on First, we tried this way and it did not result in the identity conscious inclusive program we wanted. And here's how we adjusted to ensure that our mentorship program was meeting the students where they were and enrolling the students that we wanted to. And still, we recognize that some students come to us, some students with more privilege come to us more than others who have been more disenfranchised. And so we have a recommendation form out there we send to, around to everyone, every program, every professor on the college, and guess how many students of color we get through that recommendation form? Almost zero. We get only white students being recommended to us because of everyone has an internal bias. And I cannot be running a program full of white mentors and student mentees of color. That doesn't serve anyone. And so it's really important to us that we are using data as an equity tool so that we are monitoring what populations are in our mentee pool? Do we have, how, how many students with disabilities do we have? How many students on Pell Grant do we have? How many students of color, Hispanic, Latin A? And we're making sure that our mentor pool fits that population. So every semester when we go out to recruit, we see what populations do we need to fill first that we don't currently have on our mentor roster. There has not been one term here where we had to actively recruit white students, whether that was white students with disabilities, white students, and LGBTQ, we know that those students are naturally coming to us and we're, they're getting interviews and they're coming to us quick. And so it is my coach's job to reach out to student lists that aren't hearing about us, that aren't coming to us naturally and say, hey, you qualify for this prestigious opportunity on campus and we want to help you uh, apply and get there. So um, this is a great example of true participant centricity. And we're going to talk also later about the language and the branding and the the terminology that Holyoke uses to make this fe uh, feel like what it is, which is a high value experience for their students.